fight against HIV and AIDS is far from over. Students in India took part in a race and painting competition to raise awareness. And in Thailand, activists marched through a well-known red light district, part of downtown Bangkok. They handed out condoms with a slogan bearing the words, no condom, no sex. Here in the district, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton was stressing the need for needle exchange programs. Currently, a federal ban prohibits the city from using local funds for a syringe exchange program. She says nearly one-third of HIV infections come from dirty needles. If you keep a city from doing needle exchange, if you do that, one thing is sure, your AIDS rate will escalate. I think the, you have seen something different. Uh, we AIDS battle. She says nearly one third of HIV infections come from dirty needles as we indicated. The city has a higher rate of AIDS than some West African countries. Just ahead on News 4 at 4 o'clock, new concerns that the same test that helps detect breast cancer might actually be harmful for some women. And is turnabout fair play? The man who became famous for throwing a shoe at former President Bush gets a taste of his own medicine. Ashley, how's it looking on the roads this afternoon? Well, we have some delays to talk about. The inner loop of the Beltway already well stacked up as you leave the Tysons area, continuing to and across the American Legion Bridge. Let's take a look at that here. As you can look at that, the inner loop is coming at us. Now, the outer loop is slow, headed into Virginia because of a midday road work crew that lasted a little bit longer than it should have at the Dulles Toll Road. 95, already very slow in the main line. Center of the screen, that's the HOV headed southbound. They're doing fine into Newington and Woodbridge. But the main lines are very slow. It's just heavy volume, no major accidents to report. Stay tuned. News 4 at 4 continues after this. You can buy happiness. It just doesn't have to cost a fortune. Because right now you can get the Big Mac you know and love for just 2 bucks, Or the medium extra value meal for just 4 bucks. Offer ends December 13th. If you knew how much you might be nauseous, shop smarter this year. You pay twice the price for headphones and stemware. Sure, you have great taste in cashmere, but it doesn't seem fair. Get the same gifts at better prices by shopping elsewhere. Move along, people. Move along. Coming up at 5, they say they didn't crash the White House State Dinner. Hear the exclusive interview from the Salahis. And the fight over Christmas decorations. Find out if a holiday tradition will be banned from a local community tonight at 5. Sleep is your body's strongest ally. It can lift your mood, help rebuild muscle, and improve your concentration. Tylenol PM works with your body to ease the aches and pains that keep you awake and helps you fall asleep in a non-habit way. Because the better you sleep, the better you feel. With a nation in crisis, President Nelson Mandela takes office. This country is hungry for greatness. We need inspiration. Mandela wants us to win the World Cup. You are your Clint Eastwood. Storms change, and we need to change as well. This is a great opportunity. You are listing your future as our leader. The day I am afraid to do that, I am no longer fit to leave. Morgan Freeman, Matt Damon. This is it. This is our destiny. Invictus, ready PG-13, December 11th. Get ready for pizzeria-style pizza from your own oven. It's new Red Baron fire-baked crust pizza. Fire-baked for a crispy crust. New Red Baron Fire Baked Crust Pizza. Bring home that pizzeria taste. You're watching News 4 at 4.
You might call it karma or just getting a taste of your own medicine. Either way, the Iraqi journalist who chucked his shoes at President Bush last year knows how it feels now. Montazer al Zaidi gave a press conference in Paris today, and a man in the audience hurled his own shoes at the journalist. Just like President Bush, Zaidi ducked and avoided the shoe, but it didn't stop there.